Oops. What's up guys? So I didn't recharge the batteries uh, in a week. So I think that I can play only for one hour, which is okay because I never play more than one hour. I mean my set usually is just one hour and that's it. So now I'm making the video with the GoPro. It's more handy just to turn on the GoPro rather than the camera. Also with the GoPro you have a, a wide angle of what you can see, but probably it's a bit dark. I don't think the GoPro has the best quality to make videos indoor, but yeah, I, I just want to try and see how is the quality then in, uh, in editing after playing with edit the video. Okay, here, okay. Stand. <coughs> other instruments but uh, yeah I'm just gonna stay here and, uh, and see how it is today I will try to busk uh, sitting in the end on the end standing is that you can turn around as much as you want to look at the people so have eye contact so I want to tell you now my opinion about busking in the sitting or in the standing position which one is the best for me hey guys what's up so using a sitting or a standing position will affect mainly two things in my opinion so the first thing is your singing technique and the second thing is the performance itself so for the singing technique usually when you go to a um, singing lesson with the singing coach uh, you always uh, train your singing while you are standing and you never train your singing while you're sitting except for some specific exercises but usually you learn uh, to sing while you're standing and also while you're standing you can expand your diaphragm very well and you don't have any constraints while you're standing the only constraint that you have uh, while you're standing is your guitar because you will be doing this with the guitar like this but uh, yeah that's the only constraint that you have uh, while you're busking standing while you're sitting 
if you're sitting on the amp or if you're sitting on a chair you will have a lot of constraints if you're sitting on on an amp uh, which is not a chair you have to balance your body to find uh, a comfortable position on the amp uh, and you also have to move your your body forward to reach uh, the microphone in front of you and you can't really move that much to have a, a proper breathing technique for your singing and also after 40 or 50 minutes uh, sitting on the amp your back is very tired because uh, you always try to balance your body moving forward and backwards to reach the microphone and also you have the guitar in front of you that takes uh, some space between you and the music stand and the mic uh, so you're always moving your body while you are sitting. So the other thing that can affect your singing technique while you are standing or sitting is the feedback from your amp. In my opinion the amp should stay in the same line of your ear so if you are like this you stay in the same line of your ear or behind the line of your ear and never uh, in front of the line of your ear because uh, you want to have a proper feedback from the amp and you want to listen when it's coming from the amp first. This is a must for concerts where musicians always have a monitor speaker in front of them where they can hear any instrument that they want and their voice. So when you have a, a good uh, feedback from your amp while you're busking, you won't sing louder because you can, you can hear your voice very well from the amp Whereas if you put the amp in front of you, you can't really hear your voice first, but uh, you will hear only the bouncing sound from uh, the surroundings in your busking area. So this is easy to achieve while you're standing, so you can move the amp. But in a sitting position, you can as well achieve this, but uh, only if you're not sitting on the amp, but if you're sitting on a chair. So if you're sitting on the amp, is not the best for the feedback from the amp, because uh, you will have many sounds that will arrive to your ear so you will have the vibration of the amp through your body and then that goes to your ears so this is one of the sounds that you will receive in your ears then you will have uh, the sound uh, that bounces on the surroundings of the area where you're busking and also on your guitar case uh, and on something else that is in front of you and then you will have also the sound that comes from the amp so you will have different sounds uh, that together they don't make the real feedback from the amp so like when I am sitting on the amp sometimes I sing louder and sometimes I want to adjust the equalization of the amp because what I hear it doesn't sound good, so I try to avoid to busk uh, uh, sitting for, for this main reason. So moving forward, the next thing that a sitting or a standing position affects uh, is your busking performance. That's easy, like um, if you're standing, so you have your guitar here and you're free to move around like this, keep eye contact with the people that in my opinion is very important when someone gives you some tips uh, so you can turn around easy and say thank you or maybe you are busking in a band uh, and you want to talk to another busker for a few seconds and so you can turn easily with your body and also you can take some steps while you're standing whereas in the sitting position you can only move your upper body and after a while your back will be very tired and also in a standing position you can make a lot of things like relax your legs uh, also make some jumps if you want uh, so you have uh, a lot of freedom while you're standing and yes guys these are the two main things that uh, a sitting or a standing position may affect uh, in your busking performance i hope this video was helpful for you and if you like this video please give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this and i'll see you guys with the next one bye guys so i passed for almost two hours and it was a nice day it was a nice day it's a bit cold